Hello, this is Frankie for the Pixel Slayers, and today I have a pretty cool video lined up for you. I'm going to put this custom Pikachu casing on my 3DS system that has seen much better days, so stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, my 3DS has tons of scratches. Uh, it's actually missing a big chunk of paint on the front. So what we're gonna do is replace the front and the back with this new Pikachu casing I showed you earlier. So first things first, we're gonna get a sharp little pointy tweezer set. And I'm going to remove these little plastic domes that cover the screws. And you can order replacement domes, but my case didn't come with them. So I'm gonna try to keep these especially since they match the inside casing which I'm keeping. And just be very careful, do, for, do the corners first, and once you get the corners, they just pop right out. So we do all four of them, and it's just on the top where you're gonna need them. So we're just gonna get all these screws out now. We're gonna get a small Phillips screwdriver and just unscrew each screw. Make sure you put them somewhere safe and don't lose the screws. So once that's done, you're going to get a wedge tool. Uh, I like plastic ones better. You can use a credit card and it can be quite difficult. Um, you just take your time and just try to carefully wedge in between the top and the bottom of the front casing here, or the top casing. And you go all the way around and you're going to hear clicks. So keep going. Don't force anything. Less is more here and you just keep going around until you hear the clicking sound and that's it disengaging. Alright, so once you have everything declicked from the bottom part, you'll go on the top part right up here and very carefully just kind of encourage it to, to disattach like that. And make sure you do not mess up with the cameras here. It's very delicate so do not get these dirty and do not mess that up and we're going to go ahead and make sure everything stays in the exact alignment. Okay, so the next part here is just going to clean those real quick, make sure they don't get too dirty, and get the pr camera protector circles off of the old casing, and use your tweezers for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just gently peel them off with it. It's just tape, so we're going to reuse these two because they don't come with the new casing. So we're going to very carefully just realign them and then we're just going to make sure that they stick. Use the tweezers, make sure they stick. You want to make sure that you keep the aperture, um, keep them circular so the aperture stays intact. And do the same thing with the next one and as you can see it's not that big of a deal. It's a little crazy but once you get it, it's not too bad and just make sure they stick on there, make sure they're aligned properly and just apply some pressure and you should be good to go here. Once you're done, clean it with your cleaning cloth and there you go. So very carefully, let's flip this back over and look at the 3DS alignment. You wanna make sure it looks like this. Make sure everything stays in its original alignment. All right, so double checking or maybe quadruple checking <laughs> that everything is aligned right. And we're just going to go ahead and do a quick test here. And as you see, with this case, it does not fit perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of alter it. Um, this casing came with these guys kind of down. I don't know if it happened in packaging or not, but these little divots were kind of bent in the downward position. So I had to actually raise them up with my, my screwdriver. And there was a little bit extra plastic printed on them. So I had to kind of kind of just clean them really good with my little um, tweezer sets. Um, so once the needle nose pliers did their job, I was able to get it aligned just pro properly. And first time was the charm, and it just clicked right in. So it's a little difficult at first, um, especially if you don't get the best uh, quality casings. I kind of lost the luck of the draw there. So make sure the camera holes line up properly, and then you're good to go to go ahead and just reattach the screws.
And then once the screws are all reattached, we're going to get the original little plastic dome covers and we're going to go ahead and reapply those. So go ahead and take your time with these once again and you just put them in and try not to poke holes in them so you gotta be very gentle as you can see I'm taking my time here and it's like self-healing material so once you put them in you can't really tell you to remove them if you do it patiently and just repeat the process three more times and once you're done with that it should look like nothing ever happened okay all done now it's time to do the back so with the back there's only two screws you have to remove but make sure you take the cartridge out first onto the screws it's just really quick they don't actually pop out they're held in there by a little like rivet so just slide it once you um, get the screws de-screwed you kind of lift up with them I just use my fingernails and then just lift the screws up so they're not in the holes and then slide down and it takes a little bit of effort as you can see but it pops right off this is a good time to check your battery replace if necessary if you want to update your SD card with a larger size it's a good time to do that as well the serial numbers on the inside of your 3DS and this is kinda of nice because you don't really have to worry about you know replacing the serial number on the new Casing. I'm not even gonna bother we're gonna leave it clean so and I'm gonna keep my original casing too so if I ever need to put that back on I can all right so now I get my needle nose pliers once more and you're gonna hold the rivet while you unscrew the screw from the rivet and once you get the rivet, you're going to have to kind of bend it back because when you're holding it it will it will bend a little bit so just bend it back and then once you get it into shape, stick it in the hole here. Uh, I like to stick them in the holes first. It kind of just lines up a lot easier when you put the rear case back on. So as you can see, I'm kind of making sure it's aligned properly. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Didn't get a chance to film that part. All right, so go ahead and put the casing on. Make sure everything aligns. Make sure that little tiny uh, rivet on the sides, there's two rivets on each side. Make sure they're aligned properly and go ahead and put the screws in and take your time make sure you align the rivets right but if you did it if you took your time first this should just go right in but even so it takes a little bit of effort so go ahead and get the screw aligned and then screw it in and do the same on the next screw you're pretty much all done I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it very insightful, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions on how to do this, leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching, bye!